And welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about the ongoing dilemma at the Capitol in dealing with prison overcrowding. My guest is Jim Bell, a member of the State Senate from uh, the Silicon Valley area, south of San Francisco. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, as you know, as we all know, uh, California is under court order, oh, federal wow. court order, to uh, thin out the population in our, in our prisons. We currently hold about 119,000 in our prisons that are, are supposed to hold only 80,000. So a lot of the inmates uh, have been referred under the governor's realignment plan uh, to uh, local county jails. There have been some problems, uh, anecdotal, but I mean, we've heard about some problems and, you know, with some reoffending and things like that. Uh, so I guess it's it's really a catch-22. I mean, you have to you have to do something under the court order, but what do you you know? Wh where else can you put all these people? Well, I think I think uh, what you got to do is try to reduce the recidivism rate, which right now in California is 70 percent. So uh, in two years after their release from prison. 70% are back in the criminal justice system. And that has prompted a lot of le proposed legislation at the state capitol to send these folks back into prison, making the overcrowding problem worse. And we can't do that because the federal judges will then order us to release them, and we'll have people released without uh, properly serving their time in prison. So the, the situation is getting worse and worse and worse, and we need new solutions. And a lot of us think that uh, we ought to have a stronger uh, mental health and uh, alcohol and drug abuse uh, rehabilitation programs in California. I, I know you chair the Select Committee on, uh, on Mental Health and you've been looking into this issue for quite a while and really taking a leadership role on this. Specifically, what do you think should be done? I mean, you're, you're trying to sort of nip the, the problem at the source. Yeah. Well, we're, ha we're, we're, we're having a series of hearings uh, of the state mental health uh, select committee and we had one in Los Angeles last month uh, we had a lot of testimony on what we can do to reduce prison population we had the guy that runs the Los Angeles County jails uh, Sheriff Lee Baca we had the actor Danny Trejo mm -hmm. you know machete you know he came down and talk we talked to him about having good addiction recovery programs rehabilitation programs and uh, we could put the rehabilitation back in the corrections and rehabilitation department because they don't do enough for rehabilitation. They, they just do the put them in jail, lock them up. And then when they're released, they just turn around and do the same bad thing they did before. Is there empirical evidence that rehabilitation works in terms of lowering the recidivism rate? There, there, there is absolutely uh, evidence. And what you can do is you can look at any other state in California because we're the worst in the country. All the other states are already doing this stuff. We are so far behind in this state overall in mental health treatment and uh, alcohol and drug abuse treatment that is unfunny anymore. It's just terrible. That's because our, our mindset is punishment. Well, we have First, all these right? laws that three strikes you're out, of course, but that's right. not the real problem. It's, it's just that we, we have cut the budgets of these programs, uh -huh. and we haven't uh, developed any options for people. And there doesn't seem to be an appetite at the Capitol to, extend, to, to increase this budget. Well, we're having a proposal by uh, Senator Steinberg uh, to add to the budget uh, $250 million for treatment. And we want to treat people before they commit the crimes so they don't commit the crimes. That's going to be one of our key proposals. All right. Well, we're out of time, but Senator Jim Bell, thanks very much for coming by and talking about this extremely important issue. We'll have to have you back and uh, we could spend a little more time discussing this. Yeah, thank you very much. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on My Government On Demand, also on YouTube. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.